Hey everybody, this is Tommy with Emergent Coils. Today we're going to show you how to measure a chilled water coil. First, you want to get the casing height of the coil. This would include the top and bottom flanges of the coil. You then want to get the fin height of the coil. This would just include the fin pack without the flanges. Next, we want to get the casing length of the coil, which would be including the left flange and the right flange, and then you want to get just the fin length of the coil. While you're at it, go ahead and get the overall length of the coil, which would include the manifold, but not the connections. We then want to get the number of fins per inch. In this case, there are five fins per inch. At this point, we want to get the casing depth of the coil, as well as measuring the connection locations. You want to measure from the top of the coil to the center of one location, and for the other connection, measure from the bottom of the coil to the center of the return location. We then want to get the number of feeds coming off the manifold into the coil. If you did not get a good read of the casing depth of the coil, the return bin side of the coil, you can get a lot better read and measurement on. This side of the coil is much easier to see the number of rows deep. In this case, there are four rows deep on this coil. Thanks for watching our video. For more information, go to emergentcoils.com for a list of all of our blank drawings and other information. Thanks.